Lord, keep the Lord go. Come on down. Let it snow. Let it rain. No, don't let it rain let anymore. It rain doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> Let's do Jingle Bells one more time. We're getting warmed up. Oh, get your Jingle Bells The bell ringers want to do Jingle Bells again, Dave. Oh, bring it on. I'm waiting. This is for the kids. Mangrove Swamp Band here down at the Murray Nelson building. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey guys, Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. We're here. We usually do this at the beginning of the event, and it's been a little chaotic, has it not? <laughs> yeah. This is the one who's like having to take care of everything, and you as well. Um, we usually do the intro at the beginning of the video, but it's stormy. It's crazy. We're Key Largo, Florida. Light up Key Largo, and uh, normally do this at the beginning. It just did not work. But I have not found a person in a bad mood yet. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're coming here, and it's insane. It's <laughs> raining and everybody's wet and everybody's just having a great time. So everybody introduce yourself. First name, first and last name is okay. Noel Ann Aker. I'm used to with the kids and I always say first name only. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Don DeBrule. Okay, tell me what you guys do. Start with you, Nola. Okay, so we are the co-chairs of Light Up Key Largo. Okay. Um, and we are with the Key Largo Community Preservation Foundation. Right. Um, who puts on this event annually. Don has the history yep. down better than I do, even though we've both been involved since the very beginning. This okay. is the 13th year that we've done this. Uh, this is the 10th year with the big tree. Okay. Um, it has grown every year and we couldn't be happier. I'm looking forward to seeing the big tree. This, this year is more vendors than we've ever had. <coughs> we have an amazing board of directors who works very hard most of the year to put this event together. Nice. Everybody here, like I said, is having a great mood and that's what makes everything so special. I mean, the kids are with Santa doing all, this, all the uh, photos with Santa and everything and uh, just, a, just a really happy, fun event. And we wanna, I just wanted to share a little thing. When we were stacking the tree the, uh, this week, it was so nice. We actually had a dad and his little baby come out. Really? Um, just to watch us put the tree sections together. Wow. And that's why we do what we do. You know, here. I told you, it's kind of funny when you and I were talking yesterday, I told you I always kind of wondered how those trees got put together. So it's a cool process to yeah. teach a child like that for yeah. sure. Well, any message you want to send people that are not living in a wonderful place like Key Largo? Like, there's people who live in Alabama. 
I mean, it's just come a, it's, down for a visit. Come down for a visit. Yes, absolutely. Yes, and this, if you come this time of year, you can join us for our giant tree lighting. Yes, and this is the first time it's been rain like this. But can we tell I you don't what? Remember ever having it, it, rain? It's yeah, been it's been years. the it's been the weirdest thing because yesterday in the Florida Keys it was insanely hot. hot no right? matter what you did, oh, I know. tomorrow in the Keys it'll be insanely hot and perfect weather. But hey. for Christmas we wanted to change a pace. Hey, this is actually Key Largo snow. Right, oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. It fits the right next in. best thing to be in there. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on camera, guys. We're going to end this with what we've done for the last, since 2009, the handshake of the 21st century, the fist bump. Got it. And now it's real. We all got a fist bump now. There you go. All right, Perfect. guys, take care. Thank we'll see everybody. So thank you, Nola. You've done a wonderful job on putting this together and helping with this and oh, you as well. Oh, it's an army. It's, we have an army. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have an well, army. You always have to have one. That's great, but you got a great we one. We a bigger army, though. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys. And uh, maybe uh, if we're here next year, which we make loops on different things, uh, we'll try to do a little bigger part, like maybe help providing a photographer for Chris, for Santa and things like that. We're really organized on getting the photos to the right people and all that kind of stuff. So, And if you if, wanted to come by and check out the stacking of the tree, the work that goes into it. You know what? The, the, the tree was completely <laughs> rewired this year with 360 new branches. Wow. 300, uh, not, I'm sorry, the branches are the same, but 360 new lights, wow. light strings, 360 new sockets. That's awesome. Um, so it was quite the process this year. So. Yeah, I, I, will, I will go do that if I'm in town. And the reason is, we went on location at Treasure Village Montessori about uh, several years ago with their last haunted house that they did. And I went in the classrooms for, I guess, two days a week for four weeks to watch the kids prepare and make the haunted house. Yeah. It was amazing seeing how smart these kids are nowadays. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Not, yeah. Li not like in my day where we didn't give a crap about anything. Anyway, you guys take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For Key coming. Largo, light up Key Largo right here. Key Largo, Florida. One of my favorite places in the world. Come back. Eight we'll be here. We're going to light the tree. This is it. All right. We're going to light the tree. Next thing you see. Awesome. All right, guys. We are still here at Light Up Key Largo, and I got a lively bunch here. What's going on, everybody? Hi. How are hey, you? Hey, awesome. Awesome. Doing great. What's your name, young lady? Crystal. Crystal. Christy. Christy. Keeping it simple. Close. Yes. Layla. Layla. Oh, you broke it all. Corlin. Corlin. That's the first time I've heard that name. How do you spell it? C-O-R-A-L-Y-N. Very cool. My name's really hard to spell. It's Rick, R-I-C. Okay, guys. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about, first of all with you, what you like about Key Largo before we talk about this event. What do I love about Key Largo? Everything, Everything. right? Everything. Everything. You knew I was going to say that. I did, because it's an amazing place. I, I came back here, I was here a few years ago, I came back, and now we're working on location here for about six months, and I'm all excited. Did you know where I was before this? Fort Lauderdale. Wow. What's, what's it like? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got dark. Fort Lauderdale is cool, but not as cool as here. So, what's your name again? Christy. Chris, Christy? Christy, yes. Okay. Tell me what you like about Key Largo. I also Don't say like everything. everything. I, like everything. <laughs> I like the weather. The weather? It is hot. Yes. It is hot, except for tonight. It's it's people are actually wearing long pants tonight. It's like really weird, huh? And sweaters. Yes. Awesome. All right, so so let's talk. You guys talk about. We already know we love Key Largo. So let's talk about the event, okay? We can barely. Oh, there we go. We got the lights. All right. So you tell me what you like about this event. Have you been here before? Yes. How many times have you been before today? It's been going for 13 years. So. You, <laughs> when you were born, you brought this thing. It just happened. So tell me what you like about the event. We have strobe lights going on here. Um, when they light the tree. When they light the tree, that's awesome. That's at the end of the night, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Have you going to get your face painted? You're going to get your face painted? I mean, not that you need to. They told me I needed to get my face painted. I'd look a lot better, but anyway. But I, I, I can't do it right now. But they have face painting right over there, just so you know. Very cool. All right, tell me what you like about the event. I love watching the tree just light up. It's very pretty. Well, we, uh, sorry, we're 100% on the tree over here. What about Santa Claus? Sitting on his lap and all that kind of stuff and taking pictures with Santa? <laughs> Digress into your childhood. She loves it. And who is this over here? What's your name? Kaylee. Who? Kaylee. Kaylee. How you doing, Kaylee? I'm good. Kaylee didn't want to be on camera. That never works with me. Well, Kaylee, why don't you want to be on camera? Come on over here. Look. Look. Peer pressure, I got Kaylee involved, Kaylee involved. All right, come over here. If you look like me, Kaylee, you don't want to be on camera. You're adorable, so get on your camera. All right, so Kaylee, K-I-A-I-O-E-Y. -K K okay, I knew a Kaylee in the Keys with E-E yeah. -E was her last name. Awesome. three grew up together. Awesome, so. awesome. So you guys, are, tell me what you like about Key Largo since we've talked about the event. Um, I like the water, and I just, <laughs> I like <laughs> She wouldn't be in the interview, now she's taking over. <laughs> <laughs> you like the water? You like swimming? Uh, yeah. Uh, you're not a big chicken like me, huh? They got sharks and stuff in the water, so I don't go. I love going tubing with both of these. Go where? I love going tubing with both of them. <laughs> tubing with both of them. Tubing. 
Okay. Tubing, gotcha. Yeah, don't forget about jet skiing. All right, now don't tell me what school y'all go to, but tell me how you like your school in the Keys. Get closer together. What do you like? You like your school here in the Keys? Yes. We're, we're going on location at Treasure Village Montessori. You familiar with them? Yes. We're going to be on location at that school for probably six weeks doing videos and all kinds of different things uh, to show how the key schools are different than regular schools. You know what I'm saying? They, they, Y'all have a lot better teachers. You have better edge because I've... I'm not going to say because I just left Miami. I was in those schools. Uh, you know, not as much, not, not so much. But anyway, so y'all have a big chance at a great education. So take advantage of it, okay? Yes. Here, you know, I'm finally getting it. Go school in Coral Shores. When Amazing. You get, awesome, awesome. When you get old, you get to give advice to people. So that's what I'm doing. So I end every interview the same way with the handshake of the 21st century. The fist bump, yo. All right, guys. I've been doing that since 2009, and now it's real because of COVID. All right, guys, y'all take care, and we'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for being part of this right here in Key Largo, Florida. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Thank you for going on camera, okay? That made it so much more special. Yes. All right? All right. All right, here we are with the stars of the show tonight. This is Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And you know, one of the highlights of my job is actually to get to meet you every year at many different locations, but this is really cool, isn't it not? Very is nice. it not? <laughs> okay. It, it, it is very nice. And you know what? Mrs. Claus doesn't always come to Santa Claus. She doesn't. So we have a special night tonight? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I guess getting the sleigh ready and all this stuff has got to be a little challenge. Mrs. Claus says, anytime I'm going to the Keys, she wants to come. She'll go? Yeah. That's, that's this much selfish, Mrs. Claus. But understandable. <laughs> Because we all feel the same way. But she's got to get home right away and make her cookies. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. So you, you got a big job coming ahead. That's right. So tell me what's the best thing about being Santa? Being Santa? Just being Santa. That's it, huh? I mean, um, I got, Santa Claus. I got, I got the photo. What else? Can Everybody you? loves you. Well, of course. Exactly. So. Well, look at this. And this is what makes it all special. You mind being on camera? No. Okay. I'm Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. What's your name? Robbie. And what's the little... Baby's name. Ella. Ella. Hello, Ella. Hey, Ella. Let me get you go. go let's get Ella getting on Santa. Oh, you grabbed me. Oh, boy. There you go. <laughs> Ella's checking Santa out. Ella. Can you give me a great big smile? <laughs> okay, can you speak some if you want? Hello, young lady. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, I've been watching you monitor from the crowd. Let me get where I can see your face here. Put the umbrella right here so we can share it. Here, yep. We're having to do everything by umbrella. It's crazy. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Trisha Woods. I'm the principal at Ocean Studies Charter School in Key Largo at Mile Marker 100. You look like you should be a student. <laughs> you don't look old enough to be a principal. How long have you been the principal there? Uh, this is my fifth year as principal. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm with SeeMyBeach.com and we're just covering the event. And I saw you over here monitoring things, making sure the kids are protected. That's always good. We like to see that. So tell me a little bit about your school. So Ocean Studies Charter School is a marine science-based school. Okay. Our kids go on weekly field labs, kindergarten through eighth grade. They are out here in the Keys and they're studying mangroves, they're studying water quality in the Keys, they're picking up trash everywhere that, that you know they can find it, and they're always studying different things. Each class has a project, and so um, you know real field work with real scientists um, here in the Keys. That's awesome. We have um, 
you know we have cmybeach.com, but we also have helpendalliter.org. I don't know if you knew that or not. The acronym for HEAL. And what is, we have Treasure Village, uh, Key Largo School has a chapter, um, 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 uh, Plantation Key School, and we'd love to talk to you guys about it. That'd be and great. what it does is we empower the children, we give you them the tools to clean litter, and we empower them, and we ask them to clean some litter somewhere every day for the rest of their lives. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, we would love to well, be Well, thank you so much. We'll, I'll get with you after the event and everything, and of thank course. you for being part of this and for protecting everybody. Of course. And, and I know you're an awesome principal because the Keys just has amazing principals we, we and teachers. Y'all yeah. are just a blessed area. It's an amazing place to be. I'm it very is. Lucky. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to get a little more Santa, and I'll talk to you okay, later, okay? Thanks. Thank you so much. Hey guys, Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. I'm here to now, this, we're still at the event. This is the Light Up Key Largo event, and I'm here with Paul Kiever from Key Lime Sailing Club of Cottage, just on a whole bunch of other things. How you doing, Paul? Good, good. How you doing? Yeah, it, we, it'd take half the video if we told about all the stuff you have with your sailing clubs and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're at, a, a, like I said, Light Up, the, Light Up Key Largo, and the way we can do events like this is because of people like Paul. That's why I asked you to get on camera. And Paul's like, I don't really want to get on camera. I'm like, yeah, you know, let someone else get on camera. I want you to be on camera, Paul, because people ask us all the time how we can do what we do because it would cost us a fortune to come in. And people like you, Paul, this is the second time that we've been on location for months and Paul's taking care of us. Free everything. He takes care of everything, never charges for it. And he doesn't do that because he likes me, although I'm a wonderful person. He does it because we support his community and we do the videos that bring people to your area. And isn't that why you do it, Paul? Yes. Appreciate it. For sure. Elaborate a little bit. Paul's not much of a talker on camera. Now off camera, um, Paul is like, you know. I'm really help, glad and grateful that we can help out. I yeah. Really am. Well, I appreciate it. Well, I, I called you first. I have quite a few people out here that I could call, but I called because you have the unique properties. And that's what I like to show. I mean, everybody's seen these big, huge properties and all this kind of stuff where you feel like a number. At your place, you're not like that at all. Uh, it's definitely a low keys type of place, easy going. Exactly. Like being at grandpa's house, we get it out, put it back. If you don't put it back, grandpa has to. I'm grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> don't make grandpa mad. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyway, it's just a fun place, everything you do, and you have these new places that are uh, the um, lifeguard shacks that you bought yeah. some of those at auction. Really cool. Off South Beach. Yeah, yeah we're doing some videos off of, uh, on that right now. Um, actual, it's kind of cool because these things were really on the beach in South Beach in the 80s. I'm, I'm, a, I'm yeah. from New Orleans, so history means a lot to me. Right while we're talking, I'm going to show everybody. This is what the beauty of the area right here. This is uh, Key, what it's called Florida Bay, correct? Florida Bay. And this is the event. Everybody is just getting here, a little rain. Hello there. Everybody's friendly in the Keys. Everybody's happy to be here. Um, anyway, all right, Paul, well, thank you for being on camera, and uh, we're gonna go out and get some video. And again, part of this, everything we do is through people like you, so I wanna just tell you personally, we appreciate it. But literally, when people thank us for the videos that we do and everything that brings people to the area, we're always like, never thank us, thank our sponsors. Without them, we couldn't do anything. So thank you so much, Paul. Thank and we're gonna end the interview like we have forever. Handshake of the 21st century, the fist right. bump. Take care, my friend Paul. Take care. Talk to you later. Thank you. Paul Kiever, Key Lime Selling Club and Cottages, probably the most unique property in the Keys. You get a sailboat with every room, right? Yep. I mean, how many people can brag about that? Kayaks, canoes, paddle boards. And I've seen your sailboats. If you want three sailboats with every room, Paul can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, Paul. You got a lot. Talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, how many do you have when I first got here? He's like, I uh, really don't know. <laughs> you know All those are mine, and then, you know, uh, and a few more. more. <laughs> and a few more, exactly. Take All care, buddy. Thanks. All right, see you later. Okay, light up Key Largo. This is, whoa, what's up, man? Hello. This is the artist of My name is Randall. It's so good to be here. Awesome. Here studio with art, but also tonight. Look how good this is. We were going to be doing face painting, airbrush tattoos because of the rain. Gonna... The airbrush tattoos will stay on as long as your skin is dry when we apply them. Right. But, uh, you know, we're here hanging out. Come by and see us. Say hello. Yes. Somebody yeah. already found the coconut. We have Finders Keepers Coconut Suite. There you go. I, I, I actually interviewed the Finders Keeper lady a, a while back yes, by Pasta's that was me. Place. Yes. Were you, that was you? That was me. Do you remember me? Yes. Okay. I remember you. Did you remember me already or just now? Yeah, yeah, no, I remember okay. you. Yes. Well, uh, while ago, no, while ago he told me they. The while the, yeah, well, they the don't. You can't talk yeah. about the brewery. They're not on our website. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me that. 
that uh, you can paint my face and make me look good. <laughs> okay, <that was> <laughs> I can make you look anyway. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, yeah, I remember you now. We went by the. I was with uh, a girl, and we went by, and she was hosting, and yes. we did an interview with you. And yeah, yeah the, your Andrea. coconut thing is great, Audrey. Yeah, your your all your stuff Thank is really you. cool. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah. We also have a, an art studio now. Oh yeah. Uh, and it's at Mile Marker 86. It's right by um, Mr. C's and the Mexican restaurant, right in the middle of that that. Okay. Little. I'm gonna come by and see you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna come by and check y'all out. Yes, Get y'all on cmybeach.com. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, our, our site's really cool. We, through, through the support of the sponsors, we do things like this that supports the community and makes it great. Nice. You know? Yes. And that's, that's what, like the things with Pasta. He's a big supporter of ours for many, yeah. many oh, years. That's awesome. Good guy, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, sure. And Wyland. Wyland. Oh, yeah. He's probably our biggest supporter in the Keys. Oh, He's oh, wow. Always, always. Yeah. Um, he also supports helping.litter.org, which is our nonprofit for, uh, for kids. Uh -huh. Oh, that's great. Yeah, have you heard about it before? I don't think so. Get closer because no. you're out of the picture. Oh, sorry. No, oh, sorry. The, well, helping.litter.org is a great organization because what we do is it's uh, started by a 14 year old girl. She was the founder, and I'm co founder, and she's 21 now, and I'm 100. But, but um, <laughs> What we do is, what we, yeah, what we do is, we empower school children to go out and begin a life of cleaning litter, and they have to pledge to clean some litter somewhere every day for the rest of their lives. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're matter of fact, we're interviewing Sheriff Ramsey on the 30th at oh, Treasure cool. Village Montessori School oh, with some of our us. heel kids oh, yeah. are going to be interviewing him about the litter, or oh, you know, that's, yeah, that's we got to protect the beautiful things like this. We can't have this oh, yeah. and what we see behind us over there if we don't yeah. protect it. Okay. That's right. right. I agree. Right, that. but yeah. if, we, if you're out there and you're picking up litter and you find a bunch of beautiful coconuts. Feel free yes. to bring them to me. Yes. Absolutely. Brown we ones. Refurbish them. You want to <laughs> yeah, we up refurbish there? them and make them. Yeah, show us some of these. Ta-da! I was amazed whenever I first met you at some oh. of the talent you have for the how to create so much with so little. I mean, you only have this much real estate and you got to make something on there. So, you know, I'm a big fan already. I, I, I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I came over here because you guys like the exuberant personality. And I'm like, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm stop videotaping. I'm going to hang out with you guys. All right. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Oh, sorry. so much. My light up ring. Hold on. Oh. There you go. All right. Boom, there hey, you go. that is my first fist bump with a light up oh, ring. Wow. Yo. All right. Take care, guys. Go. See y'all later right here. SeeMyBeach.com, Key Largo, Florida. Y'all take good. care. Keep great. making people smile and making Very people happy. All right. Very we'll see y'all later. Take we'll care. Bye-bye. All right. Now here we're, we're here with Sherry. Sherry, I saw you have some really unique things. Tell me about what you do. How you doing? Hi. How you doing tonight, guys? Oh, Sherry. I'd sing for you, but I can't sing. So <laughs> tell me what's going on here. Um, so my name is Sherry Griffin. I own Air Plant Jellyfish, LLC. Um, this business started back in 2017 after Hurricane Irma. Um, I was out of work and my friend ended up uh, getting hired to clear a whole lot of sea urchins. So I was out of work at the time, started collecting sea urchins and repurposing them. And what I started doing is making these beautiful air plant jellyfish. Um, what's really unique about all my air plants is they all bloom beautiful flowers. We have red blooms, pink blooms, um, different colored blooms. Uh, so I set up locally at local farmers markets and art shows all throughout the Florida Keys. Wow. And I'm very excited to announce our gallery just opened up this past April. Nice. Um, so we have wonderful collection of air plants, local art. Yeah, come check us out, Mom Marker 80.9. We're gonna and come check you out. You have a website? I do have a website. What is it? Yes, it's on Etsy. It's Florida Keys Gift Shop. Etsy.com. Open 24 hours, open for the holidays, and it's free shipping when you spend $35 online. Awesome. So. You get all this unique stuff right here. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. What's, is there anything inside there you want to show me? Oh, yes. Before we go, yes. really fast because we got to go to the next person. Oh, yeah. We have what big you got? blooming air plants today. Oh, pretty, this one pretty. blooms a foot long spiked bloom. Oh, okay. And then I'm also setting up a terrarium station for the kids with yeah. sand and glass terrariums. So. Awesome. Well, maybe I'll catch that in a little while. All right. All right take care, Sherry. Nice meeting you. Okay. Nice meeting take you care. As well. Say bye for SeeMyBeach.com. All right, here we are still at Light Up Key Largo. What's your name, young man? I'm Sean. Sean, how about you? I'm Ocean. Hey, Ocean, how are you doing today? What a good name for where we are, right? All right, so tell everybody a little about what we're doing tonight here. Uh, well, we're doing uh, Light Up Key Largo, or the annual lighting of the tree. Right. And a uh, big event. We have ice skating and Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus here and lots of food and drinks and crafts and other vendors. All right. So it's, uh, we're here every year. It's a great event. All right, actually. And let's, everybody, let the record show that this guy brought it right here. I mean, you are top <laughs> to bottom decked out, man. He got crazy stuff on his head. You too. All right, Osha, tell me about the event. You, you come here every year as well, I guess, huh? I, I do. And I really enjoy it because, well, I really like the ice skating. It's one of my favorite parts. Cool. You just get to, well, since we're in the Keys, there's no 
ice, right, and snow. So it's kind of like the only type of thing that we kind of get to do down here. Right. That has to do with ice skating. Exactly. Have you ever seen when I was here? I don't know if they still do it or not, but they had a thing that they that they put on where they had a bunch of tons of ice at. Um, down at Founders. Founders Park. Did y'all yeah. ever go to that? Yep. That was pretty cool. That's I don't know if they do. Do they do that now? Uh, I think that's probably next weekend. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'll, I, you gonna go to that? We gotta go to that too, right? Absolutely. All right. We'll get you guys on camera with that as well. Thank you for being a part of our video. We end every video with the handshake of the 21st century, the fist bump. Now it's real, brother. <laughs> I've been doing that for 11 years, and now we got a fist bump. You guys take care. We'll talk to you later. Thank, Thank you for you. being a part of it. Okay. More Christmas stuff. Light at bike ride. How are you doing today? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. I'm Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. So what's going on with the light at bike ride? Well, this is well, this is our fifth light of bike ride. Okay. Um, we work with a woman, Jane, who has actually been doing this for 25 years. Ah. 25 years ago, she asked the postmaster, "What happens to all the Santa letters?" And she found out they sit in a box at the post office. So ah. she said, "Can I have them?" And they said, "Sure." And she started granting Christmas wishes to Upper Keys kids. So now we have started a lighted bike ride to raise money. And what we do is. Um, Kids who wouldn't normally get Santa wishes, right? They fill out some forms and they get their actual Santa wishes for Christmas. That's fantastic. I love hearing stuff like that. Yeah, we all need to give back all the time, but Christmas is kind of a special time when everyone highlights it. Yeah. So thank you guys for what you do. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you for coming on camera. Well, thanks for stopping by. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do the handshake of the 21st century. <laughs> all right. I've been closing every interview with that for so many years, and now it's real. Take care, Rhonda. We'll see you in the future. Okay. Yeah, Thanks for what holidays. you're doing here. Okay, keep doing the positive things, okay? Thanks. Happy holidays to you as well. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And since we ha happen to be in a country where we need to make people smart, uh -huh. this is the library, people. Right? That's what makes people smart. Am I right? That's right. The library is what makes people smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they start. It's true. We have a lot of great resources. Not only do we have books, we have a lot of online resources. We have Libby for people who enjoy uh, listening to books and uh, reading books on their tablets or on their phones. Right. Um, we have Canopy, which is a streaming service, so it has a lot of documentaries, educational materials. Um, we have laptops these days. We actually have a kiosk here at the Marie Nelson building. So the look, kiosk has 235 books and DVDs that people can check out with their library card. Look how high tech you guys so are. We're getting pretty high tech. <laughs> so we just got a lot of resources for people. We are, really are the great democratic place in every town. Anybody can use the library and enjoy it and learn and get smart. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a member of the Broward County Library thing because we did a video there, but I've never rented a book or anything. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a movie guy. I'm not an example of the smart people we're trying to make but anyway but even Broward would have um, something like canopy where you could yeah. dream did I've actually seen that before things. exactly yeah. All right, do y'all do take part in things one cool thing in Fort Lauderdale I don't know if y'all have here the little there's little uh, places where you can leave a book or take a book in the parks and things like that we don't we have put books in little free libraries that are around town but other organizations have placed those little free libraries yeah um, but we have contributed to them I think those are very cool and I saw one that had a um, on TikTok the other day that had a, a one for people with the books atop and one with sticks for the dogs in the bottom. Oh, that's too cool. They could took, grab a stick and go. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, well, thank you for being part of the video. What's your name again? Christina. My name is Christina. I manage the Key Largo Library. Awesome. All right. Well, Christina, thank you for being on camera and thank you for being part of this event and trying to make people smarter. This She's doing a really good job on the reading over there, a little animated, which is good for kids. Right, we've got a story time going on during uh, throughout Key, Light Up Key Largo. Haley will be here reading stories to the children. Awesome. And, and I just saw the little girl in red. She's like jumping up and down and what she's doing. That's what I love to see, the excitement of learning. That's really good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love. Story time is a very important part of early literacy, getting children introduced to reading, language, we do songs and, and dancing in our story times as well, and crafts, and they learn simple things like how to use scissors and how to use a crayon, because children have to actually be taught those skills. Right. They don't know how to hold a pencil until someone shows them. Exactly. Well, that's great. I appreciate what you're doing, Christina. Thank you so much for being part of because you don't do this kind of stuff for the money. It's true. No, we do not do it for money. You do it for we love of other things. Love of other things and to better our community and better our country. You should be able to do it for money. If our company, if our country emphasized the things that were important, that would be the higher paying jobs. It's true. We <laughs> Making people smart in other countries is a good right. thing. In America, it's like not so much. We don't really care. But anyway, you take care and I'll talk to you later. Right. SeeMyBeach.com right here and Key Largo, light up Key Largo. Talk to you later. All right, take care. I think I made that lady mad over there. She's like giving me a bad, bad, she's like giving me a bad, 
look over there. No. No, no, no. I was just hoping I wasn't in your camera But shot. you were. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, give me this weird look. Uh, now I know what it is. You were like, is she filming me also? Well, since you're on camera, what's your name? Gina. Hey, G how you doing tonight? Good. Good. I'm Rick. We're just recording things. Getting wonderful Christine on here talking about how great the library system is and everything and all that. So anyway, since you're part of it, you're part of this forever. You're thrilled? The next YouTube sensation right here. Talk to you later here in Key Largo, Florida. One of the things that's most important to us at See My Beach is natural products. This lady's got them. Tell me a little bit about what you do, your first name and then what these products are. Hi, I'm Stacy from Stacy's Naturals. And these are all my handmade goodies. I help people with sensitive skin reduce those skin conditions through my natural creations. I have a combination of natural soaps, shea butter, souffles, scrubs, herbal pillows, and also men care. And this is a great gift giving stuff for your gift needs this season. That's true. My We're coming up on them. My website is yep. stacysnaturals.com. Stacysnaturals.com. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Are you on Facebook as well? Yes. And Instagram as well. Awesome. Stacy's Naturals. Look Stacy up right here. This is just great stuff. I've actually talked to a couple of people who bought some of your stuff and said it's really good. Thank you. Absolutely, good for sure, for sure. So anyway, um, everybody check her out online. And what kind of events do you do besides this? I normally do events at military bases. I am a military veteran, so I help veterans in the community. And I also do events throughout the Keys. I did the Garden Club at East Marada, and I will be doing some events um, at, in Big Pine. Okay. And in Upper Miami as well. So that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being part of our video, Stacy. Great products. You're a great representative. I can tell you care and have passion about what you do. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We always end our interviews with the handshake of the 21st century, the fist bump. You take care, Stacy. Next time. And look, she bought it. She brought it, man. All right, she gave a little pizzazz. All right, guys, we're about to cut out of here. This has like been an amazing night right here in Key Largo, Florida. And I ran into these guys at, the, at almost when I'm about to leave. Oh, it would have been horrible if I hadn't got to say hi to you guys. What's your name? Ava. Who? Ava? It's yeah. a great name. What's your name? Isla. Isla, pretty name. What's your name? Autumn. Autumn. Uh, Y'all's are better. No, I'm kidding. That's a great name also. So, Autumn, tell everybody what y'all are doing here tonight. And, uh, here to see the tree get lit up and see all our family and friends. Oh, that's right. I can't leave till the tree gets lit up. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about that? Is this your first time coming to this event? You went last year? Awesome. So how old are you? Six. Six? How old are you? Four. Four. I'm older than that. Both of those combined like 15 times. It's terrible, huh? So how do y'all like living in the Florida Keys? You know you live in the place everybody really wants to live. Because it's so cool. Anything you want to say to the camera? Come on, Isla, say something. <laughs> Everybody's getting all shy. Oh my goodness. Well, thank y'all for getting on camera and for being part of SeeMyBeach.com right here in Key Largo. Light up Key Largo. Anything you want to say now? Say something? <laughs> Yeah, both get together and say Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, that's in perfect unison. Thank you, guys. See y'all later right here in Key Largo, Florida. Bye bye, okay? Thank you. See you later. Who are you? Uh, Grace Lovely. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing tonight? Good. We get everybody on camera. So, how are you? You having a good time tonight? I am. Excellent. Tell me what you like about the event. Um, it's very inclusive of the community. <laughs> inclusive of the community. Yeah. What's a community event? It's supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, so the event is what it's supposed to be. Take care, guys. We'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody from See My Beach. Talk. All right, now here we are with Peg. How are you doing tonight, Peg? I'm wonderful. I've heard wonderful things about you, young lady. Oh, thank you very much. Absolutely. Nola was saying that you do a, a really good job on 
preparing. And look how busy your tent is right now. Yes. So tell me what you do, Peg. Okay, uh, I am a hotel a hotelier. Okay. Uh, who used to be a kindergarten teacher at Key Largo School. Nice. And so hence my love of children. Right. Uh, so I wanted uh, the event to have things that the kids could do and create and take home uh, to represent Christmas. So my team of elves and I have created 17 crafts for children of various levels of difficulty, ranging from very easy to very difficult. But tonight we chose to use the more easy task because of the inclement weather, right. and it was a little bit more difficult to manage than normal circumstances. We also created a cooking decorating tent where my staff and I uh, created 595 cookies along with uh, 500 or 600 tubs of icing to go with it and uh, lots of sprinkles that the children could use to decorate the cookies. That is fantastic. So we've been doing this for about 10 years. It started uh, back uh, about, like I said, about 10 years ago and another woman, myself, decided we were going to decorate cookies. Well, it exploded. <laughs> What you thought was going to be a small thing became something big, huh? Exactly. <laughs> we started out with about 100 cookies, and now we're up to more than 500. Wow. Well, I, I heard Nola was telling me about how great you are and how great what you're doing is, and it takes a lot of effort to do this. And it means a lot to people like me that you are doing this for the community. So thank you so much. It is my pleasure. Absolutely. Love giving back. Absolutely. But everyone needs to give back. Absolutely. Well, we our, our site, just so you know, our company, CMyBeach.com, that's what we do is we come in and we go and look on location and we do positive things in the community like this. And we try to highlight people like you who's also part of giving. Everyone, every business should have the attitudes you have and want to give back. Thank you. But they all don't. They don't all. No. You know what I'm saying? But so, so that's why I like to highlight the people who are. Okay. So we wanted to get you on camera. So thank you so much for thank what you, you do. So much. And uh, you, the smiles on these kids' faces make all the difference in the world. Yes. And uh, your uh, your school you were at uh, is one of the. Um, we actually go on location at Key Largo School. A lot of times we've done videos. My dog's 12th birthday party was at Key Largo School. <laughs> she sure was uh, with with Pam Caputo's class. Yes. yes. So anyway, so thank you for what you do, and I will talk to you later at this great event. And we're getting ready to go see Santa Claus. Oh, I have to go see Santa Claus. Man, going to light the tree. Going to light that tree. Be good, Peg. We end all of our interviews with the handshake of the 21st century, which is the fist bump. There you oh, Peg brought it, man. Look at that. I was not expecting pizzazz from Peg. Thank you, girl. You take care. We'll see you later from SeeMyBeach.com. Goodbye.
You guys had a great time tonight, did you not? Oh, we always have a good time. This has been wonderful. It has been, very nice. Well, very you nice. made a lot of people happy, kids, parents, everybody, and just, you know, it's a special time of the year. That's what we do every year. The elves work hard all year long just to make all the little boys and girls happy because they've been very good. Awesome. And you got to coordinate it all and you got to keep it all going. So thank you guys for what you do. And right here in Key Largo, Florida, light up. Key Largo, thank you guys for being part of this. And I love you guys. And I've never done this with a Santa. I close out any every interview with a fist bump, okay? The handshake of the 21st century. Not everybody gets a fist bump Santa and Mrs. Claus. Take care, guys. We'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from SeeMyBeach.com in Key Largo, Florida. Love you guys. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Hannah. Thanks for coming to Light Up Key Largo. Light Up Key Largo. Awesome, Anna. Goodbye. This bump, be good. Talk to you later. All right.